Today we're going to take a look at the T1 vehicle wiring harness with the four-way flat trailer connector. Now this is a custom fit part. It is designed to fit the 2019 Volkswagen Jetta vehicles. And on a custom fit part like this, I always like to recommend for you to go to our website, use our fit guide, put in your year and model vehicle, and it will show you if this will work for your application. Now this kit will provide this four-way flat trailer connector at the back of your vehicle to power your trailer's signal lights. It is compatible with 5-pole, 6-pole, and 7-pole adapters that we do sell separately on our website. And this kit does connect very quickly and easily. Basically, you just locate your connection points, which are behind the tail lights. Plug in these T-connectors, one on each side, the driver's side, and one on the passenger side. Ground your white wire, then run your power wire to your vehicle's battery. It does include this modulite to ensure that your vehicle's wiring will match that of your trailer. It's a powered module that will connect directly to your battery, and that's to avoid overloading your, overloading your vehicle's electrical system. The wire that runs out the back with the four-way connected to it that you plug into your trailer, it's constructed of a 16-gauge bonded wire, and if you note, it has an integrated dust cap right here that you just pop on over there when you're not plugged in to protect those terminals. A few specs on this kit, the maximum amperage for the stop and turn light circuit is 5 amps per circuit. For the tail light circuit is 7.5 amps per circuit. It does come with everything laid out here on the table. It even has a nice set of detailed instructions that describe how to install everything. But basically what you want to do is you want to start at the rear of the car, access behind your tail lights, and you start on the driver's side and you'll take this T connector that has the yellow wire in it, unplug your harness, plug this in, plug your harness back in. And then go over to the passenger side, run this length of wire with the green in it. That's for the passenger side. Do the same thing, unplug the harness, plug this in. With those both plugged in, this modulite you do want to attach to a flat surface so it doesn't bounce around. So they do include this piece of double face tape that you can use for that. And then run this slot wire out the rear. And then you'll have two connections left. One's a black wire for power. The white wire is for your ground. The white wire will have an eyelet on it. So you connect that to a good clean ground if there's one nearby. If not, they do offer you a screw that you can make your own ground. And then to connect your power wire to your battery, they do give you this extra length of wire. So what you'll do is take your black power wire, take one of the included buck connectors, and attach it to one end of this length of wire and then you'll run this wire all the way up to the front to where your battery is and once you get up to the front you don't want to run it correctly directly to the battery you want to run it through this inline fuse holder so you take the other butt connector connect it to one end of this fuse holder and then the other end of your fuse holder you'll take this eyelet connector and then connect that to the battery and then just pop open your fuse holder take the included 15 amp fuse install it in your fuse holder Put your cap on there, and then you're all ready to go. If you notice, they do give you some extra zip ties here that'll help uh, take this wire that you run all the way up to the front. The zip ties will help keep it from hanging down and keep it out of the way. But that should do it for the review on the T1 vehicle wiring harness with the four-way flat trailer connector.